Welcome back to part two of our family cruise all the way up to Canada. This is going to be our experience at Halifax, Nova Scotia and Sydney. Halifax is to be known one of the main ports that rescued and sent out help for the Titanic. So we knew we wanted to go see the museum and this is our experience at the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. This is their mascot, Marlin the Parrot. There was really so much history to see at this museum. I hope you take the time to look at all the pictures and can pause when possible to read as much as you can. I tried to get as much information for everyone. It was just an amazing day that we got to walk around through this. So. I tried to pack in a lot of this information in a short time, so like I said, you might have to pause it to get the most out of this video. This museum is two floors. The first floor is a lot of the history and ships. Um, replicas of the ships of their history in Canada and the upper floor is a lot of more hands-on and all of the Titanic um, replicas as well as artifacts that they have taken and preserved.
I'm coming. You can see some items recovered. This had the real one recovered and then one that you could touch that was a replica. The famous staircases here. And over here you can see the woodwork that was above a door. You can see the picture just here.
Here you can see the time log that they used. They used a telegraph key, kind of like Morse code, I guess. And you can see the times and actions. Logan will show you in a little while how to do his name in the telegraph key, which is pretty cool. This deck chair was recovered after being stolen, so now it's here at the museum. And a replica is out to sit on and take pictures, so you'll see a Logan sitting in a picture of one. Here we have some insight on what first class passenger tickets cost and in each window it shows like a staged room, what it would look like. Now over here second class. I apologize for the glare. Lost and saved. 57 men were saved in first class. 18 people were lost. 140 women were, were saved before were lost. Um, no children. Were lost in first class. In second class, there were only 14 men. There was, and there was 154 lost. No. There was 80 saved and 13 lost. And there was 24 kids saved. And that now, third class, 75 men saved. There were 387 lost. 76 saved, 89 lost for women, and 27 found, and 52 children lost. And now, 192 men were saved, and 670 were lost, and 20 women were found, and 3 were lost. Wow. So, I think it's safe to say that men, they lost the most men. Because back then it was what? Men, men. Women and children, children first, yes. Here's a piece. It's a sample from the bow. Yep. So find the letters that are associated with each one. I know. Did you know that during the war there was actually a song? Her name was, I think, Grace Pabs. Grace Pabs. Uh, 
they're learning how to do their names. A little history. A little history. So it's <laughs> sound, so you can hear it. Yeah. First thing you do. Ready? Yep. This is fun. Dots are quick. Dashes yep. <laughs> are three times as long. So you're out. O, Z, A, Bring it together. Boom. No. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Oh? Yeah, I'm trying to do three. That's it. Okay. Um, I almost called the Madeline. I think the last was here. Do you want to do it again? Well, I'm going to teach you the Morse code. It's real simple. Oh, hi. Lots of dashes. Okay? So when you do a dot, then and you hit. Okay? Um, Sorry, real quick. Hit, hit. Okay. Keep going. You do a dash. You got it. Do it again. I'm calling it a dot. So think dot. So think dot. No. <laughs> Perfect. That's so it. a couple more dots. Just going to do that. Yep. That's perfect. Now together, nope. like in the case no, of go the again. Head, That's it. it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, give me. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So you have to start your name. Just remember the A. Uh, sorry. Well, the A. Yeah, the A. Open that space. I'm going to end up a real mess. Okay. Now I'm going to write the sentence. I know I know your name. There you go. <laughs> it's all about spacing and timing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is yours. So that was the end of the inside of the museum. We had a wonderful day and this is going to be outside part of the museum and it was actually along a boardwalk so we enjoyed that walk as well. They had some creative sweet treats with cotton candy around ice cream and some sweets for us. We tried a sampler of local beers. Right next to our port was an immigration museum. Unfortunately, we ran out of time and didn't get a chance to go in. Right inside the port area, they had some companies doing name origins so you can look up your last names on my family side we have sync mars so they had those separate so i looked those two up and then also on the other side is alex All right, so we are aboard the ship now, and we had a beautiful sail away. It was such a nice, pretty scene, and we actually turned all around. So we were on a great spot right on the back of the ship, and we were able to see a lot of fun things, and it was very relaxing being able to sail away and see the view. All those beautiful lighthouses. I wish I would have gotten to a couple of them, but like I said, we were running out of some time, so... That museum was wonderful. We got to see it, so I was excited. Definitely a must see.
one of our other favorite cruise lines is MSC. They are a freight ship line as well as a cruise ship line. And check this out what we found. Here's some yummy chocolate with maple cream inside. Okay, welcome to Sydney. This is the next day. We arrived in Sydney and they are known for the largest fiddle. Yes, the largest fiddle. Here's Logan standing next to the largest fiddle. Here in Sydney today, we decided to just walk around close to the port. There was a boardwalk and also some historical museums. They were more like staged houses all around the port area. So that's what we ended up doing. And I'm going to share with you all the sites that we did see.
this line was on top of the Royal Bank of Canada. Here's a pretty butterfly that we saw, and also here's our ship, and that is the Caribbean Princess from the rear, the aft. And this young man was playing the fiddle and earning some money, so we gave him a little dip. This lighthouse was inside of a building right at the port and this was the view from inside of the ship on board this is the end of Sydney and I will do a next video part 3 for Quebec and Toronto and that will end our trip for the summer stay tuned